This video will show how to do the circuit analysis for a half-wave rectifier using a simple model of the diode in the half-wave rectifier. By the time you're done with this video, you should have a good understanding of how this circuit works. So, I've drawn a schematic of a half-wave rectifier. And uh, you can see that it consists of a voltage source, a diode, and a resistor, all in series. And most of the time, we are interested in knowing the voltage across this resistor. So, most of the time, you tend to think of this circuit as being a voltage source and a diode that's then connected to a load, a, a resistive load. And so, um, yeah, again, most of the time, we're interested in that voltage. But in order to do the analysis, we also need to understand or we need to know the voltage across the diode. So we're going to look at both of those. Uh, let's suppose, for the sake of argument, that we'll call our source voltage V sub S. And just for the sake of argument, let's suppose that this resistor is a 1K ohm resistor. And so if we can find the current that's flowing around the circuit, we can find out what VR is. It would be 1 K ohm times the current. Okay, and so let's see if we can figure out how to do this. Now, to do this, we will think of the source and the resistor as one circuit and the diode as another circuit. And the idea is that we will compute the VI curve for the source and the resistor. So I'll actually draw them here. We're not quite ready to compute them. But we'll compute the VI curve for the source and the resistor. And then we'll draw the VI curve of the diode on top of that. And we'll see where those two curves intersect. That will tell us what the current is through the diode. Once we know the current that's through the diode, since the diode is in series with the resistor, that's all the, also the current through the resistor. And we know what our voltage across the resistor will be. So without actually doing the derivation uh, from a previous video, hopefully you'll remember that. Suppose we have V sub S is 10 volts. Then our VI curve for the source and the resistor looks like this where the V, I guess this would be the uh, V intercept, is 10 volts. And the I intercept is 10 milliamps. And the slope of this line is 1 over 1k ohm. And that's a negative slope. OK. So this is the VI curve for the voltage source and the resistor. Now to um, determine what the uh, current through the resistor is, uh, I need to know the VI curve for the diode. And just to remind you, there are actually several VI curves that one can use for the diode. We'll use the simple one that basically has the um, current going up in a straight line at 0.7 volts. So we will use this. In fact, here we'll find a, another somewhat uglier color to make the uh, VI curve for the diode in. OK, so that's our VI curve for the diode. If we, put, if we now plot this on our VI curve for the resistor and the source, we get something that looks like this. And so that says, then, that um, <coughs> the solution is this point where the two VI curves intersect. And so what this means is that the voltage across the diode is going to be 0.7 volts. And the current through the diode is going to be somewhat less than 10 milliamps. 
and it turns out that you can actually solve the, this using a technique that we'll talk about in just a minute to discover that this current at this point is 9.3 milliamps, which means that VR would be 9.3 volts. Okay, so there you have it. That's what happens when VS is 10 volts. Now, let's change things a little bit. Let's suppose that VS is minus 1 volt. Okay, so VS is some negative value. If VS is minus 1 volt, then the VI curve for the source in series with the resistor would now look something like this, where it has the same slope as when Vs is equal to 10 volts, but um, now the intersect with the v-axis is at minus 1 volt. Okay, and now uh, again we can uh, find the uh, uh, the current through the resistor and the diode by finding the place where these two VI curves intersect. And you can see that uh, this VI curve intersects with the diode VI curve at this point. And you can see then that the current going through the diode is zero. So this represents a current of zero milliamps. And if the current through the diode is zero milliamps, since the resistor is in series with the diode, the current through the resistor is also zero milliamps, so that says VR is equal to zero volts. Okay, so you'll notice that when the source voltage is positive, that um, the resistor voltage is equal to the source voltage minus 0.7 volts, which is the... Uh, uh, diode voltage, but as the source voltage goes negative, you get to a point where the current through the diode is zero, and um, because the current through the diode is zero, then the voltage across the resistor is zero. It turns out that, if you remember um, from the diode lecture, this curve is what happens, actually, here, let's do this in the uh, pink that we were using before, just to make sure there's no confusion. This curve is when the diode is forward biased. And this part of the curve, where the current is zero, is when the diode is reversed biased. Okay, so um, basically, uh, when the diode is forward biased, it looks like a 0.7 volt voltage source. When the diode is reverse biased, it looks like an open circuit. So we can actually draw these two circuits. So the forward biased diode looks like this. So we have Vs, we have the voltage across the diode, which in this case is 0.7 volts, and then we have our 1k ohm resistor. Okay, so you can hopefully see that the voltage across the resistor using Kirchhoff's voltage law is going to be Vs minus 0.7 volts. Okay, so again when the when the uh, diode is forward biased, then the voltage across the resistor is going to be 0.7 volts. When the voltage, or when the diode is reverse biased, then we have something that looks like this, and the diode looks like an open circuit when it's reverse biased. No matter what the voltage across it is, no current will flow. Okay. And so, if no current is flowing through the resistor, then Vr is equal to zero volts. So, how do we tell when the, volt, or when the diode is forward biased and when it's reverse biased? Well, again, 
we look at the VI curve and um, let's see where's an ugly color we haven't used yet. Oh, this one's really nasty. If we look at this point here, if VS is larger, if, if the if VS is larger than the VS necessary to have uh, this uh, VI curve, then the diode looks like a 0.7 volt source and the diode conducts. So if VS is greater than 0.7 volts, then I have a forward bias diode. If VS is less than 0.7 volts, then I have a reverse bias diode. Well, it's actually not reverse biased until the voltage across it goes uh, negative. But uh, with this model, if VS is less than 0.7 volts, then the diode doesn't conduct. Okay, so VS greater than, oops, VS greater than 0.7 volts and VS less than 0.7 volts. Okay, so the last thing we need to do, because we're talking about a half wave rectifier, the reason this circuit has that name is the following. And let's free up a little bit of space to show that we'll get rid of this messy VI curve. In many applications, the source is a sinusoid. So we have that as a function of time, the voltage of the source varies sinusoidally. It goes positive, negative, positive, and negative. Okay. Now we know from our analysis that whenever the voltage of, of the source is greater than 0.7 volts, that the resistor voltage is going to be the source voltage minus 0.7 volts. So let's go back to our pink, which represents a forward bias diode. And we have then that VR looks like this. Again, because the, the source voltage is 0.7 volts or larger, then VR is just the source voltage minus 0.7 volts. When VS gets below 0.7 volts, then I have the diode turn off. I get something that looks like this. The diode is reverse biased. When VS is greater than 0.7 volts again, I get something that looks like this. And so you can see, let's find, uh, let's see, let's get a nice happy color for this guy. So if I trace the voltage across the resistor, I get something that every time the voltage is positive, I get a bump, and every time the voltage is negative, I get nothing. And so what it's doing is it's taking out the negative bits of the uh, uh, VS signal and keeping the positive bits. Uh, because it gets rid of the negative bits entirely, it's only rectifying half the wave. Rectifying means to... Uh, in this context, to make everything, every voltage positive or zero. So uh, that's why we call this a half wave rectifier. It gets rid of the negative half of the wave and leaves us with the positive half of the wave. So hopefully that makes the half wave rectifiers uh, fairly clear. It also hopefully helps you understand how to do the analysis of a circuit with a diode. Um, Basically, you look at the diode, and if the voltage across it would be greater than its threshold voltage, you say it's a, just a source with a threshold voltage. If the voltage across it is going to be negative, you say that it's an open circuit. So that will end this video.